Alright, good morning, morning. Good morning, class. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. I hope you are doing good. I hope everybody in this class is doing good. Mm -hmm. Did you miss your English teacher? Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you, thank you that you missed your English teacher together with our discussion. But before anything else, I mean, I request someone in the class to pray. Don't you uh, ever right? call my name that right there? Pretty boy right there, I may I ask Mr. Gloran to pray. Uh, Mr. Gloran, can you lead us a prayer? Oh no, Alright, the I'm floor is yours. Alright, let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. for this beautiful day. Allow us to learn more from Mr. Cliff. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. But before we proceed class in, in our activity for today, allow me to connect the device in the projector so that we will have a guide in our discussion all right but if uh, oh, good the device is already connected but before I will flash the PowerPoint uh, I have something to ask you class mm -hmm. I have something to ask you right now can someone here in the house can enumerate the or at least one can give me parts of the speech. All right. Sir, uh, yes, 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 Mr. Uh, your name? I Raz, forgot your name. Sir, Raz. Uh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Uh, Raz. All right. Just come in. Uh, now, sir. Oh, now. thank you. Very good. You're, you're very good. Sir, me, sir. Uh, yeah, 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 miss. Yeah. Verb, miss sir. Lanita. Verb. Oh, thank you. You you guys are very smart in here. But are you, are you excited on our subject matter for this morning who's excited i hope you're excited because we will learn something wonderful in this morning and the subject matter for this morning is all about parts of speech adjective and its proper order all right mm -hmm. and our objective for this discussion is that all right my eyes are a bit dim so i will read it you will be able to understand the function of adjective and then the second objective for today you will be able to organize the adjectives according to the standard according to the standard order all right now if you're going to ask me class sir sir cliff sir cliff what is what is an adjective all right let us read the description here or the definition not a description but definition Alright, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or state of being of nouns. Or we, in other words, uh, adjectives describes the noun. Mm -hmm. Alright, like the words enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, and fast. But the adjective get, the, does not only go in that way, but also they can also describe the quantity of nouns just like many few millions and eleven all right that is the definition of an adjective the key word for the adjective is that it describes the noun i hope you get that class always remember that the adjective describes the noun all right now the, the, the adjectives can go before or after nouns here are some examples before the nouns uh, notice the words class that are being underlined because that is the adjective now the adjective in the first sentence he is a tall boy the adjective is tall and the noun is boy the adjective go first before the noun and then the second the black cat the what cat the the black cat is in the kitchen the expensive jacket what is the the jacket it is expensive the adjective go first and it describes the following word which is the noun the jacket is for sale and then number four the old house is on the street all right let us proceed now here uh, also class they can be placed after the nouns if before we earlier we discussed that adjectives can go uh, before the nouns they can also go after the nouns like these examples the man is what the man is happy the man is the noun and the word happy describes the, the man she is young 
She is the noun and the young describes the she. My mother is beautiful. What is the mother? She is beautiful. All right. The house is new. You get that class. That's very easy. All right. And uh, now in this part, let us uh, examine this adjective structure. All right. Adjectives have a number of common endings called suffixes. If you try to observe class the adjectives, they had this uh words being attached in their endings and also sometimes being attached in the beginnings before the the root word but here in this part we will only discuss the uh noticeable uh words being attached in its ending all right we have here uh the examples for the ing we have the word boring and exciting all right now for the ed can you read it, class? Bored. Excited. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. For the IVE, may I request Mr. Uh, Patis to read for the IVE? Yes, Mr. Patis. Creative. Persuasive. All right. Thank you. And for the ABLE, we have the word breakable and affordable. For the IBLE, we have possible, incredible, and incredible. And also for the word... A and L, we have the global and final. For the IC, we have heroic and incredible, not incredible, heroic and futuristic. And for the I, we have shiny and funny. Alright, for the OUS, we have fabulous and glamorous. For the FUL, we have helpful and harmful. For the LESS, we have the helpless and harmless. And lastly, for the ISH, we have the foolish and selfish. So that is the structure class of the adjectives. If you will find some uh, words like ing, ed, iv, you will you will easily uh, identify the adjective class because of that words. All right, class. Now in this part, I hope you will listen very carefully because this is an exciting portion. Why? Because now we will learn the proper arrangement of the adjectives. We already discussed the definition and the, the things that you need to know about the adjectives. Now we will learn about how are you going to put in order when you will find many adjectives in a sentence. All right. Now, when more than one adjectives comes or comes comes before a noun, the adjectives are normally in a particular order. When you will find the many many adjectives, don't confuse yourself and listen very carefully because now we will learn how to put that adjectives in order. Adjectives are normally in particular order. Mm -hmm. Adjectives which describes opinions, notice the, notice the word opinions, or attitude, like the word amazing, usually come, come first before more neutral and factual ones when we say opinion it is based only on you it is uh, not true it's not true with the others maybe you will say this thing is like that but many many will somewhat like uh, disagree in you that is considered as an opinion all right like uh, you will you will uh, put the opinion first before the other adjectives that are factual or yeah factual like this example class look at this example she was wearing an amazing red coat what was the coat it was amazing the word amazing can be true for an individual but not for many uh, yes because some will say that no that, that coat is not is not amazing yeah notice class the arrangement the opinion come first comes first and then the factual word which is red go after that amazing amazing word the word amazing rather all right now class let us take a look on the uh proper order of the adjectives now be after the after the opinion the one that will go after that is the size after the opinion is the size like big small or tall and then after the size the number three or the third third adjective that will go is the physical quality 
such as thin, rough, and untidy. Mm -hmm. And then, the fourth is the shape. Always remember that class. The fourth is the shape. Like round, square, and rectangular. Alright. And then the fifth is the age. Like young, old, and youthful. Alright, the sixth is the color. Like, it's very easy. Blue, red, pink. And then the origin class. Notice these uh, examples. The origins, or the examples for origins are the following. Dutch, Japanese, and Turkish. Alright. The eighth is the material. Like metal, wood, or plastic. Alright. And the nine is the type. It is gen something, something like these examples. General purpose four-sided, U-shaped. And then finally, we have the purpose. Uh, we have these examples. The cleaning, hammering, and cooking. All right. Wait a minute, class. And uh, we have an example sentences, sentences right here. The first example is that uh, it was made of a strange. The word strange is a as an opinion we don't have the size and so on so let us proceed to the six or the the color because the other adjectives are not available after the after the strange we have the word green it is in the sixth position if you will try to look at the order and then we don't have the number seven so of course we'll proceed on the material it is metallic is the number eight in the position metallic if you're going to read the sentence it was made of strange green metallic material all right and for number two we don't have a uh, what we call this one an opinion so of course we'll proceed on the size it is a long and then number four narrow and then in the eighth position adjective the plastic brush or it's a long narrow plastic brush and then number three the planet zone is round the round is number four because it is a shape and then Italian or its origin the bread like the bread like is the type it is number one number nine in the position in the in the position in the order if we're going to read this sentence panettone is a round Italian bread like Christmas cake so that is very easy to remember class always remember the positions of the adjectives all right now in this very last part class about the about this uh listing proper listing or ordering of the adjectives there are adjectives that are being joined by the word and why is that let us take a look on the definition class when more than one adjectives occurs after a verb such as be be is a linking verb the second last adjective adjective is normally connected to the last adjective by and all right always remember this class when when two or more two or more more adjectives will follow a, a verb the last uh, the second last adjective must be connected to the last with the word and and is a uh, coordinating conjunction all right here we have the examples example rather home oh, this is the word notice the encircled word was it is a be verb it is a past be verb the past tense of the word is home was always a warm welcoming place and notice this last uh, sentence class now it is sad comma dark and notice the word and cold we use the word and because of the word was so that's it class that is very easy to remember i hope you learn a lot in this session in this morning class and of course after the discussion let us proceed to the assessment don't you worry class because the assessment is just easy and the assessment assessment is this we have the direction direction arrange the jumbled adjective mm -hmm. we only have two items here class uh, all right number one she was a tall black 
black-haired, young, Scottish, beautiful, thin woman. You have to arrange that class, the series. And number two, what an Chinese, old, amazing, little cup and saucer. Alright, that is very easy class. You will answer it very, very fast. Because you're all smart. Mm -hmm. And after 10 minutes, you will pass your papers. Alright? Mm -hmm. Let us start. You can now write your answers. I yes, will wait sir. For you, class. Only in 10 minutes. Alright? Am I clear? I hope I'm, I am clear. Okay, yes, sir. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. Mm hmm. I'm already done, mm -hmm. sir. Done, sir. Finished. Oh, you're done? oh, oh finally. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please exchange your paper, pass it in the front, and exchange it by rows. All right. Can you please pass this on? Just give wait, it to me. Pass it on, guys. Paper paper right away. Paper. Faster. Man, you're so slow. Hey, uh -huh. faster. The, the, the answers are being flashed in the yes. screen yes. or the yes. projector class. All right, I Take got a look it right. Oh, no. <laughs> I had two Answer. mistakes. All right. Check the papers. I will wait for you. Are you all done? Hey Very John, good. you got so perfect. Oh, so wow. I, like I got perfect. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. Who got perfect? Sir, I got perfect. Wow, very good. Mr. Goloran got perfect. Yeah. Wow, very good. So very good. Very good, Mr. Goloran. Very good. I got oh, perfect wow. too, sir. Mr. Raz also. Wow, very good. You're all smart. Very good, class. Very good. Me too, sir. And also, Miss... Miss Laurente. Wow, very good. How about the others? Nine? I got still eight. Eight. I got nine. Eight. Wow, you got high scores. Very good, class. And pass the papers to me because I will record it. Mm -hmm. I hope you lear did learn a lot today. Mm -hmm. For your assignment, I will just send it in the group chat. Alright, stay tuned in the group chat. Alright, thank you very much, class. I, ho I really, really hope that you learned something today. And goodbye, class. Bye. 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 All right. you, sir. See you next meeting, class. See you next meeting. Thank you Thank very you. much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Oh, finally.